Welcome, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to check out the first episode of the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series. So for those who don't know, the series is a live-action adaptation of the animated TV series of the same name. And yeah, just hearing live-action, you just know people didn't have a lot of faith into this. Especially when the last live-action adaptation of The Last Airbender was a complete disaster. But let's check out if the Netflix series does justice to the anime animated series. So let's check it out. So the series starts with Fire Lord Ozen waging war on the earth, water, and air bending tribes. And he is taking advantage of this, especially since the comet there increases their power by a shit ton. However, he swaffordogs the Earth Kingdom, believing that they are attacking them, when in actuality, they're attacking the airbending nomads. And so, we are introduced to our protag of this series, Aang, who is the airbending prodigy and the next avatar. Who does not want the responsibility to be the next avatar, but his teacher pretty much tells him he has to. Frustrated and confused, he flies off with his Sky Bison, Appa, just to clear his head. Unfortunately, he chose a really bad time as the Fire Nation shows up and lays waste to the Air Temple. Moreover, Aang and Appa get lost in a storm and nearly drown until Aang's avatar powers kicks in and freezes both of them in a huge block of ice. And so, a hundred years pass by and we meet the Water Tribe siblings, Katara and Sokka, as they are just looking for fish to eat until they stumble upon Aang frozen in the ice. So Katara wants to bring Aang to their tribe, but Sokka doesn't want to, but he eventually does. However, Aang being thrown out of the ice gets the attention of Prince Zuko, who is looking for his ass, just so he can please his daddy. And upon awakening, Aang not only is confused on where he is, he gets told what the hell happened in the last hundred years through exposition. Airbenders haven't been seen in generations and that the Southern Air Temple was the first to fall because you've been trapped in that ice this whole time. And shit really hits the fan when Prince Zuko shows up to Wolf Cove and he threatens to burn down the village if they don't turn in the Avatar. But Sokka tries to kick ass and fails and so Aang saves his ass by turning himself in. And while he's taken captive, Aang escapes and takes a book on the Avatars from Zuko. He escapes with the help of Sokka, Katara, and Appa, and they head off to the Sky Temple where they find its remains and where Aang discovers his teacher has since passed away. And so from here on out, Aang decides to man up and become the Avatar people desperately need. But the one thing I do know is, I'm the Avatar. And this is just the beginning. And that was episode 1, and I gotta say, so far the series has a decent start. Some of the exposition is like clunky as hell, and yes, you can tell that some of the background are green screen, but it's not as bad as the film adaptation. It does have good action sequences, and the performances from the actors are pretty good. And this episode does do a good job adapting the animated series, especially with the production value and cast. And yeah, also this episode is like an hour long, so it does stretch out the first episode and cram in bits and pieces from later episodes, just so audiences can get a good idea of what the hell's going on in this series. So like I said, the first episode is a decent adaptation of the source material, and I have to check out the rest just to see if it lives up to the hype. So stay tuned and uh, check out the rest of this series. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay safe out there. And see you next time.